so much about that week shaped and follows us, I guess, to, to this day. Good morning, guys. We're doing something exciting this morning. When we, Mary was at story time a few months ago, one of the moms told her about an open gym, gymnastics place that has open gym in, on Wednesdays and Thursdays for little toddlers. So, for free! We're gonna go do that for the first time. If you didn't know, I grew up as a gymnast, I suppose. I was not competitive, but I did go to the gym every week and I loved it. So it makes me excited to get back into the gymnastics gym. All right, buddy, let's go. You're gonna love crawling around. Yeah, you are. Oh boy. Boy. Oh boy. About to go down. The world is and will be That's how you get a little break every couple seconds for a minute. I don't know if they know about this song. Okay, you guys may or may not know about that song. We blasted. Wait, you don't know what I'm gonna say? Yeah, I'm curious what you're gonna say. We blasted. I'm talking windows down. Spring air blowing through the car. Yeah. <laughs> Transplant Evo? Yes. You good? I I think <laughs> I think in my mind uh what your mercy did for me, but I'm sure this one played after that. It did. You're right. Oh man. It was one of those you guys hear us talk about the transplant evaluation week probably pretty frequently because it was a week that was very like formative or um yeah it there was a lot of shaping it was weighty it was very weighty for us not only the reality like that first day of eval we learned yes i would need a liver if and when my lungs needed to be transplanted or needed a transplant. Um, so yes, I would need a liver and also I would be very likely given hepatitis C, like because of the narrow what requirements for my body or my organs yeah or like <laughs> complexity to match a double organ and like all the other like body size and all the factors that go into a transplant that they were telling us which we've never we had never heard of this they're able to use donors who have hepatitis c or yeah, man, it's been a lot of years. It's been almost four years. So my memory on these details is a little fuzzy, but basically I just remember that very first day being told, yes, liver and lung, and also hepatitis C. And they were like, so you will contract hepatitis C if the donor has hepatitis C. Um, but then we will, Give you the cure. Give you the cure. Or put you, start you on the treatment or whatever the cure entails. Um, which was like overwhelming because it's a lot of information, but also I remember saying, wow, yay, you can cure. There's there's something in me that you can cure or they, there will be something in me that you can cure. That's a new experience for me. But anyway, you know, like that was just the first day and then all of the days following were more overwhelming tests and overwhelming information. But all of that to say, so much about that week shaped and yeah, follows us, I guess, to, to this day, including the songs we sang. Now, thankfully, 
that song in particular isn't connected with too much like hard. There was a lot of hard in that week. And so certain like places in Durham are really hard because like that restaurant we sat outside, if you watched our, I think it was Wednesday of Transplant Evaluation Week, where I was basically like processing and crying a lot and really frustrated. Um, that restaurant and that street in general is so burned in my brain. We've never gone back to that restaurant. Oof. And so, yeah. I think what it is. Yeah, I think a part of part of why that week it's not just like the evaluation. It was that week that led us to move here and kind of completely uproot our lives. And so there's just a life weightiness to that whole week, you know? Yeah. And I wasn't on Trikafta yet, obviously, and so I was really sick and just pushing, pushing, pushing through a week of testing was a lot on my body and also on Peter and also on my brain. And then on top of all that was a lot of weighty conversations with doctors and they were incredible doctors, but the weightiness is um, real. So anyway, I am thankful to sing this song, blast this song um, with more breath in my lungs and knowing that the way God was faithful in that very hard week and honestly the weeks to follow and the weeks that led up to it and the way God was faithful then, he is faithful now and we can sing. Amen. Amen. Okay, we went home. You guys stayed in the car, but we went home and 
did a whole bunch of things this afternoon and now we're back in the car we just did operation mucus drop off nice i have cf clinic in a few weeks and i thought huh a few weeks it's next week honey. that's next week <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, okay, my bad. Uh, and I thought, well, I'm coughing a bunch of junk up the, this week, the last couple weeks. I'm fine, not to worry. But, um, this parking lot was not uh, built for two trucks. Two trucks. This Let's see if we lot's fit. Always so hard to get yeah. around without Oops, two trucks. That person trucks. was like, why are you filming me? Sorry about that. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, anyway, so we just did Operation Mucus drop off. Basically, I messaged my CF team and was like, <laughs> do you want any mucus? Because there is plenty to go around. And they were like, yes, please, always. So they uh, put in an order for the lab for the mucus mucus fairies so i ran in dropped that off and yeah. now we have a coupon for a free sub at firehouse subs so so should we all get out and go sit or yeah i think so yeah i, I mean so. he doesn't want to be in this car seat no so. he does not at all <laughs> we decided it's donut day we saw what was it like it was when we were going to bed there was a donut on TV or something. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that looks really good. Oh, fun. And we said, okay, tomorrow can be donut day. Oh, there's no, no donuts to see. Thank you. Thank you. Bubba say thank you, Daddy. Yeah. Oh, you and me. Oh, the answer. 